this out because I've been dabbling a little bit recently in automotive stock. I certainly haven't been buying, uh, <laughs> I certainly haven't been buying Lordstown stock. Uh, no, but, but, uh, <laughs> if you're smart, you'd buy, uh, potentially buy some of that Rivian, uh, Ford we, bought, Ford bought some Rivian stock and boy, did that help them out? I side shot bought some on his own. I bought some, I mean, with, you know, he, I have a custodian account and he, he mm -hmm. bought some, some Rivian stock. I, I bought some on my own <laughs> and, uh, yeah, anyway, so a topic that comes up on this program quite a bit in, 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 we do a lot of RV stuff. Um, and I, I have such a love hate relationship with camping world and, and the CEO of camping world, Marcus Lemonis has been, in and out of the news, he's got that show on, I think it's NBC The Prophet. Uh, mm -hmm. He's received some negative press recently. Uh, I, I always have questioned Camping World's inability to turn a profit, that meaning that they're always in the red. Right. Um, and yet, they're every time I walk into one, they couldn't be busier, especially in their service right. Right. department. And they seem to be selling the, he the heck out of these RVs as well. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but I will tell you this, um, that Marcus Limonis, the aforementioned uh, CEO of Camping World, chairman and CEO, right. recently bought uh, about $100,000 worth of Camping World stock. Now, that's not a huge amount for him, but um, he knows something that we don't. I right. think that's the... Um, that's the uh, the, the reading in between the lines that I have done that could it be some of this EV technology that they've been partnering in? Who knows? But there's something that he thinks is worth buying Camping World stock for today so that he can realize a gain in the near future. Now, it may be six months, but it's probably not going to be six years. Right. True. And I have another idea on this, and I could uh, be completely oh, look, wrong. Side shots back. Oh, look at there. And, um, you know, as low as the stock stock cost was, the share costs were, really not that big of a chunk of money for him. No. Right. But it draws interest to the fact that he did buy this, right? Yeah. And, I mean, and, it, and, 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 and eyes, eyebrows pop up and go, hmm, should I be buying this? I'm going to let me buy a little bit of this as well. Do you think maybe that this is his way of driving up his shares? Um, just by kind of, uh, you know, maybe making people think that there's something going on. There's not really. I but, see. So it's a know. little bit of a poker, poker bluff. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, he doesn't have a whole lot to lose here, but he's got a lot to gain so by purchasing these at, at such a low that's cost. That's another point. So it, he knows and expects that things will probably stay the same at the very least. Right in the next Con short term future, right? Because he knows he knows the market trend right now. What's going on? Yep. You said it in the beginning of this segment, which is how surprised you are with some of the shenanigans that go on. As busy as they are, is the fact that they're backlogged on getting orders out for some of these RVs. They can't even, you know, yep. they can't fulfill orders. That's not it. It's a it's a good position to be in. It's a bad position to be in. But maybe there's some stuff going on to where they need a little bit more investment bump, and maybe he's he's you know yeah he's doing this to kind of help hey come along for the ride here and you know in his way of doing it I don't know there's nothing official on it well so. the, the bottom line is that, that decision did not happen in a vacuum so he didn't just wake up one day and go why are you kicking me I'm not kicking oh sorry no he didn't just wake up one day and go. <laughs> I think I'm going to buy some more shares of stock of my my company. Right. Like he had right. a there's a motivating factor that he has there, some knowledge of. Now, the, the Securities and Exchange Commission monitors that, so you had to be careful, right? Uh there's some strategy going on yeah. here. <laughs> yes. Yes, for sure. So, did I hear you talk 
talking about uh, EVs and camping world. Yeah. Yes. For me. Absolutely. You know what I would say? The ideal RV would probably be something like the Tesla Semi as a Uh camper. Yeah, so there is some... Uh, and, and again, everybody, you know, we've covered this. Uh, I don't want to say ad nauseum because we're probably not done covering it, but we've gotten into the whole EV movement in the RV industry quite a bit. There's a lot of development going on right now. There are EVs out there that are um, going to be able to take advantage of their RV's ability to send a charge back to them. KOA's gotten into the game. They're going to offer charging stations, which, again... I hate to say I told you so. It's just a prime opportunity sitting there waiting right. with, you know, uh, 240 service at the pole. So, right. yeah, we're not done. So, well, it'll be yeah. interesting to see what happens in the coming months and years, right? Absolutely, man. So, let's, I, I you know, d- do I run out and buy uh, Camping World shares right now? I personally don't think so. I think I'm going for the Rivian stock. Um, that's just me. Did you need to uh, like put a bow on that with that zip up right at the end? Just to I did, <laughs> I did. It's my way. It's I mean, my that's, way. That's that's about now. All you need is like just your cowboy hat, and you just get up and walk off. Uh, yeah. 